Hmm. Hey, here I go kill him again. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Leon's Garage Adventures. So you're kind of catching us in the middle of something right now. Basically with the whole LS and turbocharger swap, Leon wants to make sure that he still has air conditioning, working AC, because we live in Florida and it's it's a requirement. You gotta have it. But Leon noticed that there might be a problem with the exhaust manifold where the turbocharger mounts and clearing where the factory AC is. So he's got a dyno friend that we're gonna go swing by who has the exact same kit. We're gonna borrow it for a little bit. No need for quotes there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, slap it on real fast. You guys can see it firsthand, but gotta get that AC. All right, we'll check in soon. Yes. I think. Oh. I don't know. This is the only one I've seen. Oh, oh, that's right. It's these that are different. Oh, that's for the Turbo 400 and the 4 all 60. Yeah. And glide. Well, they make a different bracket to put the truck AC up top. Never so, go with the first. So dirty, dirty dingo. Yes, check them. Okay. I think they're like 350. <laughs> Hopes are not high with Leon. Nope. Taste, but the smell. Yeah, uh, oil and vinaigrette just for everyone that's catching up on that. <laughs> it's dark in here. Yeah. Oh, Leon's been busy cleaning up the heads. Um, where'd we put the oil pan? There it is. Leon cleaned up this oil pan so he can do the oil feed and return. That'll be in a future episode. Looking for all the parts to mount the AC and bracket back up. Yes. How do you know that those are the exact bolts you need? I don't, but we're gonna try. You see if they're the right thread at least. I'm pretty sure these are the ones. Woo! Look at that. Moment of truth. No! Oh my goodness, it doesn't fit for anything. <laughs> Dang. Oh, that's no good. Now flip it upside down. No, I don't <laughs> oh no. So we're gonna have to figure out a different plan for this one. So, back at the dyno shop, he has another manifold made for trucks. Yes, and it, it uh, places the turbo up here. And then you just build your own crossover. Instead. Are we gonna go get it? I think so. All right. So what are you thinking? So either AC compressor goes on the bottom in the original location, and I get the truck manifold for the turbo, which puts the turbo up here, or I relocate the AC to up here, and then the one that we have already goes here and then I build it to wherever I want the turbo at. But I don't know which way I want to actually go about it yet. Mm. What concerns you more? Aesthetics? How it looks? Or how it will potentially perform? Both. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost thinking just do the truck one. Puts it here and then do the AC down at the bottom like mm. original. Okay, time to take a ride. So this is how it would be mounted on a truck style setup. It's got all the bolts in it. Hmm. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna take it off. <laughs> Dang. Yoink. I do like the location where it's at though. The AC compressor goes way down there. Puts the flange for the turbo up top. Instead it switches them around. Hmm. And this, uh, this setup in the car will probably look pretty huge. <laughs> the turbo is going to be way up high. Yeah. You think it'll still clear the hood though? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's going to 
gonna be hot, ain't it? <laughs> uh, I'm not touching it. Oh no! <laughs> not thinking with your dipstick. <laughs> I think we'll fit. Well, it'll, it'll sit down like two more inches. Should fit. Damn, that looks like some super cool four cylinder. Hand snap. Hand snap. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm. Hi, hey, here I go killing again. Oh, the, the piece of resistance. It looks a lot cleaner. I took it off to clean it. Oh snap! Watch this motor just twist right off. <laughs> Jeez! Yes! I think it's a little small. Well, we can go bigger. <laughs> Holy crap! I need a bolt. So just, I can... just one? Two. That turbo makes this engine look small. Yes! Crap. There. Voila. You know, this is just like I see in other TV shows where, you know, they just cut to the next scene and all of a sudden everything's back together. Uh, yeah, except for this side uh, isn't actually together. It's just. Look at that. I just want to say we did all this work to put the turbo up top so we could keep the AC. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> but. In the long run, it may be the cheaper option, even if the manifold is more expensive. Yes. Yes! Okay, so tell me about your solution for this, because this looks a bit close. Yeah. Oh, the other manifold is in a, a different placement than this Doesn't one. Doesn't it pull it back a little bit further? I don't think so. I think oh. it actually, like, does this number where it, like, twists it and moves oh. it. Isn't that worse? Whatever. <laughs> this comes off. This this comes off, and you can put the cap right there if you really want to. Okay. It might melt the cap. I might get uh, the metal well done cap that makes so sense. that it doesn't yep. fall to pieces. That's a good idea. All right. You hungry? Yes. All right. Let's go get some sushi. Yes. That's going to end this episode of Leon's Garage Adventures. As you can see, the turbo is just simply mocked up. It's just to give us an idea. Leon needed to make sure that the factory AC would be able to work. And now it should. This was a homemade manifold that uh, Buddy made, but we're actually ordering a trick manifold that's made for the truck motor. And we'll put the turbo up there instead of the Holly one that put it down. Yeah, yeah. Even though the Holly manifold was really nice, it didn't do what you needed it to do. Yeah. And all I can say for this project is, don't suck. Just to understand how big this turbo is, Oh yeah. Please don't suck. <laughs>